Hi everyone, this is Margaret Ann Rouse Stafford. I'm a realtor with DR Horton, serving the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And right now I am in Diaberville in the Highlands community. The Highlands is a very well established community that's been very successful, very, very in demand, as you can see by all the rooftops that are over there. Those are some of our previous phases. And in this current phase, this is one of um, our floor plans. It's the Oakley floor plan. Now, it's, it's an unusual floor plan in that it's a three bedroom, two bath. And new construction, you don't see a lot of those right now. Everyone's building those big four bedrooms. And for that family who is either downsizing or just doesn't need a four bedroom home, this is a beautiful alternative. This particular one has a front porch elevation, which is always popular. People love to decorate them for the holidays or just year round, keep that little rocking chair on the front porch. I'm not sure who on our team picked the colors, but they did a beautiful job. The colors that they've chosen in this neighborhood are so pretty, so elegant, so classy. I don't think anybody will ever get um, tired of looking at their home color. So let's go check out the inside. All right, it's your front porch. You have a nice long foyer, which I like because that means when you open your front door, you're gonna have some privacy. People are gonna be able to see all the way into your kitchen. And immediately upon entering in this particular house, on the left, you have a really nice either formal dining room or office area. Now imagine this house weren't naked. Imagine it were finished and there was grass out front. Look at a pretty little view you would have looking out. You also get a good idea of how high this house is compared to the street. I mean, everyone's always looking for a home that has great drainage, and this would be it. Let's keep going. All right, so we progress a little further. We are now in the great room. And the first part of that would be the kitchen area. Along this back wall. Now, did you notice we had a little wall right there that does kind of partition it off? So it does, again, give you an introduction to the kitchen. So right here, this tells me this is gonna be where you'll put your refrigerator. Then you'll have cabinets. Uh, your microwave will be here. Your range will be here. Cabinets, cabinets, cabinets going all the way across. Your sink will be here and dishwasher here. And then you will still have an island right in the center of the kitchen, which is nice. Just a nice clear island. I like that idea. It's a good little dining space or buffet space when you're entertaining. So that is the kitchen area. Use your imagination. Okay. Now as we turn this way into the other part of the great room, you'll notice that the ceiling has a transition to this beautiful vaulted ceiling to help define the living area. see a sofa this way, television there, or you could go the opposite direction and have your sofa here. Maybe, oh, that maybe makes better sense and put the TV right there. Hmm, people always wonder where they're gonna put a Christmas tree. This would be a great idea in this house to put that Christmas tree in that front room so people could see it when they go by. And then maybe if you're one of those multiple Christmas tree people, you could put your second one right there. More Christmas trees, right? All right, let's go check out the primary bedroom. You do have this nice little subtle entry into that room, which is nice, as opposed to opening the door and going straight into the living room. You'll notice that this room has the tray ceilings. Very, very nice size room. At the end of this video, I will include a floor plan so you can see the dimensions but I've seen these homes staged with a king size bed and it's incredibly spacious. Okay, it's gonna get a little dark because we're gonna go here into the primary ensuite bath and there's no lights yet. So linen closet when you first come in. A nice step in shower. You know, some of us would rather not step over a tub into the shower. The safety of just stepping right into a shower can be very, very beneficial. Double vanity sinks, potty, 
And look at the size of this walk-in closet. It is really huge. It's super big. Wish it wasn't so dark. Again, when I attach that um, floor plan to the end of the video, you'll be able to stop it and you can get an idea of the dimensions. Okay, so this is the primary suite. Again, with the pretty tray ceilings. Let's go back out. And here we have the guest bath. There is your bathtub. So if you're a family that likes a shower but also needs a tub, this is a perfect home for you. Fixtures aren't in yet. House is still naked. Look at the size of this bedroom. We have much bigger homes that don't have guest bedrooms this big. And for a lot of people who tell us they want a four bedroom really because they just have every intention of turning one of those bedrooms into an office, this is a perfect solution. Got the office in the front. And there's bedroom number three. and the linen closet for the hall, and the laundry area, which passes through to the garage, which is really nice because when you're carrying things in, it's kind of nice to not have to carry that detergent so far. Look at the size of that garage. Your water heater will go right there in that corner. I'll also include some still photos, professionally taken photos of a completed home and attach those to the end of this video as well. So you can um, get a better idea of what it's gonna look like when it's finished. Let's check out the backyard in this particular home. I love this back porch. It's just the right size for a little dining set or a chaise, double chaise, a little sofa area out here, plants. And this is really nice too. Look at the tree line behind you. So just enough backyard to feel like you have some space but not have to kill yourself mowing. I think I'll also attach the survey so you can see just how much space is around this home. Sometimes it's hard to tell in a moving video. Uh, by the way, those cords that you see coming out of the bricks there, that is so you can connect a television outside for really turning this into an entertainment room, which by the way, I mean, if you wanted to after you closed on it, this would be a really easy space to screen in. You could put a ceiling fan in there after you closed and really turn this into a nice little private outdoor room. Please be sure to continue to watch and check out the floor plan with the dimensions of the rooms, the plot layout that will give you an idea of just how big the lot is for this particular house, and the still photographs. So you can see what a completed home looks like staged with furniture. Again, my name is Margaret Ann Rouse Stafford. I'm a realtor. DR Horton. Our office number is 215-1943 and my cell number if you'd like to reach me directly by phone or text or you can reach out to me through Facebook is 228-760-0379. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day.